So let's go back to um, AI vs search. How do you think that's going to play out? AI vs search. It seems to me like it's I yeah. So it's like um, I'm trying to keep up, right? But I think it's just moving super fast. And in the beginning, I was not. I won't say I was an AI skeptic, but I'm I'm always very, <laughs> very cautious. When th- when stuff is so hyped as AI was, I'm like, okay, I, I can't handle it. Like everyone talks AI mm. everywhere, but now I think like it's been out there for a while, and I think we start now to materialize and see how it materializes into actual business value. Like you're talking about, that's actual business value. I can see that, right? I can see, okay, that makes sense. But before when I tried it out for certain things, it was like, mm, couldn't really figure it out. <laughs> but it seems like there's a lot of discussion about will generative AI take over search? Meaning will we, instead of going into Google and say, hey, I'm searching for this, would you get used to going into an AI and then basically asking the same thing in and then, you know, will it be able to just give me one response so I don't have to circle through, I don't know, 50 to 52 links, right? And then go go that way through. How, how do you think that will play out? Do you think that's what's going to happen? We're going to end up with the AIs, Google, do you think it's going to be in between? So I think what is going to be quite, quite big um, update is, is the Google's search generative experience meaning that they will yeah. surface the results using using some sort of AI they have created to do this kind of chat GPT like like version of, of their search. But in order to not cannibalize their own business, they're going to add the references and, and you know, companies websites to those uh, results. So they can I don't think they can ever get rid of that. Otherwise, nope. they're gonna kill their own business. 